shit right here. Doing means currently. So even if I used to smoke weed, I know I don't smoke weed right now. So if you smoke, everybody's doing it. No, you don't. Know, some people may have already done it, but they may have stopped doing it. Some people may not have begun. People may never even touch it or taste it or handle it. This is definitely a lot. Everybody is not doing it. Go, y'all ain't learned nothing from high school? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Every, you know, in high school, everybody tells you if people doing stuff and people ain't doing half the stuff they talking about. Doing. True. You no, know, I seen this girl today on the bus. She was like, I'm not gonna say she was a loser, but uh, she was like, you know, <laughs> book smart. And usually, like, I thought they're like, let me see paper, let me see paper. Uh, and then today, like, I just ended up reading Chinese and stuff like that because I really thought she was like, you know, doing stuff. Right, Even right, though right, she right. was book smart, but she. Do you see what I'm saying? I think so. Everybody, everybody's. Everybody's not doing it. Everybody's not. And he'll tell you that, he will say that everybody is doing it. He will make it seem like everybody is doing it. Or everybody will do it. I can take you, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me show you in the Bible whether he'll try to use that lie. Uh, Job, Job chapter one. You better go see, go check. Oh, with the cursing God thing. No, that's not Job, that's a chapter one. Chapter 1. Okay. Here it is. Satan talking to Satan is talking to God. Before yeah. Satan is talking to God. He has a nerve. Here it is. And there were born unto him. Oh, no, no, let me go. Let me go here. Uh, verse 6 says, Now there was a day when the sons of God, I'm talking about angels at this point, came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. So they're having a meeting in heaven. Satan got the nerve to walk up in there. Because. <laughs> When I say got the nerve, he had to okay. report. Yeah, he had to report. He has to report. Because <laughs> if God tells you move, if God tells you come, you come. Okay. You come. You come. So the Bible says that Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence coming thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Now look at this. God, you're so awesome. Job was actually living right. Mm -hmm. He was actually living right. And God says, have you considered my servant Job? A lot of people preach this. This is you the funniest story in the Bible. Huh? This is the funniest story it in the is. Bible. It is. It's hilarious. Period. Amen. Now, now, here it is. Satan is presenting himself. God says, have you considered my servant Job? People preach. Oh, God was the one who recommended Job. People that preach that. And I can see some validity in that. But if you look a little closer at this translation in a different language, it's, Jesus, it's God saying, I see you're considering my servant Job. Oh. Mm -hmm. So say it was already. So you talking about, so say it's being sarcastic. Oh, I'm going up and down in the earth, walking. Just looking around. And God says, mm. he tells him what you're doing. T God tells him, oh, so I see you've considered my servant Job. You're thinking about bonding Job, right? Like, so God's kind of like, oh, you being sarcastic, but I already know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right? So here it is. He keeps going. Satan answered the Lord. Does Job fear? Does Job fear God for not for naught? Meaning, has thou made him a you've made a hedge about him? Blah blah blah. Put forth your hand now and touch all that he had, and he'll curse you to your face. Just like everybody else treating you bad and sinning on you, and, and just like everybody else doing. Let me get him, and I bet he'll do the same thing. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> Everybody else is. You can't find this kind of man all over the place. Job was the one who wasn't doing it. So this is a lie. Everybody is not doing God it. Was lying. I, I've heard commentary on this where you can kind of look at it as God putting a bet on Job. It's like, bet you he won't. All right, cool. And Satan, knowing he would lose that bet, took the bet just to do evil. Oh, I believe that. I mean, I, I because he is evil. Because Satan is evil. Um, this is the other. This is the other thing that connects to that. Satan's lie is God is not good. That's the other lie. If God was so good, you hear people saying it. If God yeah. was so good, why is there famine in the land? If God is so good, why are people dying? If God was so good, why are all these things happening? This is Satan putting this in people's brains and in people's minds that God is not good. 
the, the enemy, the devil, our adversary, is always evil. Hmm. He is never not evil. But the way he attempts to destroy God's people, because he know he can't get at God, he tries to tell us that God is not good. When you have a hard time, or something happens in your life, and you don't understand it, first thing that Satan wants you to think is that God will not take care of you, that God does not care about you, that God is not good. God doesn't care. When I say God is not good, that's God doesn't care. That's God is not listening. God doesn't hear you. This is the other thing that he will tell you. There are so many lies that I could write on this board. These are the ones that we're going to start with. He will tell you disobedience is okay. He will tell you you can control sin. Oh, I hope y'all write this down. Mm -hmm. He will tell you that everyone else is doing it. And he will tell you that God is not good. Let me give you some scriptures. For this. Uh, you can go here. But Genesis 12. There's so many places in the Bible, but I do know I can take you here. Let me put Job 1. I'm going to put Job 1 here, 6 to 12. This is stuff to let you know that the devil is a he is a liar and the father of it. This. Oh, good thanks to the Lord, but he is good. <laughs> and his mercy endures forever. I, I can... This is all, all through the psalm. What is that? Psalm 103. Mm -hmm. Psalm, I want to say Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, my soul. No, no, no. Go give thanks to the Lord. That is Psalm. I know this song. Where am I? What? Bless the Lord on my soul? No, yes. she's, I think she said, I'll give thanks to the Lord. Thinking that, I, want you, I, want, I want you to see that God is good. There is, I'll give thanks to the Lord. Mercy endures. Oh, oh, good thanks to the Lord. No oh, five. Huh? Uh, that's another one. Good thanks. One oh six. Praise you, the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good. For His mercy endures forever. One oh six. Psalm one oh six. I thought of one oh three because it talks about the good things He does. One oh three says. He forgives all of our iniquities. That's good. He heals all of our diseases. That's good. He, he gives us benefits. That's good. He redeems our life from destruction. That's good. Who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. That's good. Who satisfies our mouth with good things. That's good. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment. That's good. You see what I'm saying? So Psalm 103 came to my mind first because I see all the good things that he does. But it actually says in many places in the Bible that God is good. And this is what you need to know about the devil. And we'll finish with this tonight. I need y'all to chew this up. And I need you to think about this until we come again. <laughs> whatever the devil tells you is the opposite. Whatever, whatever, whatever thought you, whatever thought you think in your mind that is to come from God, it's the opposite. Whatever the devil does, whatever the devil says. He's, it's the opposite. Period. Skip devil. Yeah, you just wrote whatever it does. Uh, it's whatever, whatever the devil. My mind is going 100 miles an hour. Where's my... But if it were that easy, wouldn't you just like, you know, blank all that stuff out? What? Like what? Like... I don't know. The devil told you God hates you, kill yourself. I'm gonna put a small D for him, huh? Um, no, if God tells you, I mean, the devil tells you God hates you, kill yourself. And if it's like something that extreme, you probably wouldn't believe it. It well, depends on how you feel at the moment because emotions are very powerful. True. Emotions are very powerful. So for some reason, we live well because we're humans. We live our life in this feelings, on um, our feelings. He's a race. <laughs> He's helping. But I mean, babe, if somebody's the father of something like the father of lies, you would think at this point he's perfected it. So he's going to tell you something when you're emotionally unstable. What are some things, what are some things the enemy tells us? Tell me something the enemy tells you. Tell me something, tell me a negative thought that has come in your mind. 
anytime or something. In this world, you cannot change. You can't change. Wow, that's still in that young lady's conversation. Mm -hmm. You can't change. Can you change? Yes, you can change. Can you change? Yeah. Can you change? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can change. That's mm -hmm. a scripture. Yeah. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. What is that? First Corinthians five seventeen. I need the scripture. I need to see this. Yes, you can change. You absolutely can change. I believe that. You can. You know that. You live that. You're living that right now. Five seventeen. Like I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny. Is that, is he about to be I used to. Is he tearing it up? Literally, like maybe like, second. Like, and now I just I don't like. Huh? Oh yes, second Corinthians five and seventeen. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yes. Huh? Can you can you change? Yes, you can change. So even if you like, even if you like sin, you can't change. My question to this young woman was. Do you believe you need to change? Because if you don't think you need to change, you're not going to change. Nope. No matter what I say to you, tell them blue in the face. Do you think you need to change? If you like your finish, if you finish today, if today was your last day, if you like the way you were finished, if you left here today, then you don't think you need to change. What can I do? All I can do is tell you what's right. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. I thought you said you hungry. Mm -hmm. you said, can you help me? Yeah. Why don't you pay for this? Go right there. You writing it? Right? So, can you change? Yes or no? So, he'll tell you you can't change. We pay for it. That's a, that is a lot. What else? <laughs> Tam, I step up, boy. You can't change. That is a lie. How many of you have already changed? You know you're not who you used to be. Boom! Everybody's hands up. Straight up. So, he's a liar. It's the opposite. So if he tells you you can't change, even if you feel like you can't change, you can. The truth is, the fact is, that you can change. This is, what is that, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Absolutely. That is the biggest one. You, don't you can't change better. It. You what? You don't deserve that. Wow, that's good. She put a second. Two in B. You don't deserve better? <laughs> do you deserve better? <laughs> do you des do you deserve better? Depends on what you did. <laughs> you know what? Don't write on that. Yes, you do deserve better. Why did you do that? Let me tell you why I know you deserve better. Because here it is. Here's a scripture. I'm going to just give you scripture. The Lord gives it to me. Here's a scripture. Here's Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says this. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith God. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. There is something, a great future and a hope that God has planned for you. Mm -hmm. You do deserve better. Don't write that. Don't write on don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All this boy, you writing on that. Yeah. You do deserve better. Sure. Now, now, when I don't think deserve like, boom, just because I'm cute, I deserve better. No, God died on, Jesus died on the cross for you because he believes you deserve better. <laughs> Jesus died because he believes you deserve better. What else? Give me some of the negative thoughts. That's kind of like me, myself. Mm -hmm. Anybody, any kind of like, any negative thoughts, thoughts that any negative thoughts that come across your mind? Violence is yeah. the answer. Violence is the answer. Yeah. Hey, I'm being honest with you. Straight hey, up. Um, That's what this guy's about. Violence is the answer. The kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it okay, by force. Get out of here, get out of here, right? I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, like, as you know, I used to be one of those people. Like, you could look at me. You could look at me like you thought about. You wanted to say something to me, and I was like, say it. Please no. give me a reason. When people like, do that, I be like, what? Like, I will what? say it to you. Like, that's <laughs> and then, and then next thing you know, I was the one getting walking down to the principal's office myself. Like, don't even call the administrators. I will go. And I will call her. Helena, I'm on the way to your office. I'm like, <laughs> people on a first name basis. Like, like, can you order my catfish dinner? Because I'm hungry. Like, <laughs> and I was going. But now, catfish. I mean, I'm not even getting to the principal. It's violence the answer. answer. I'm going to find this. And now, it's I'm just violent. like, oh, what was the point? It's violence, it's violence the answer. Probably not. I'm about to say, uh, 
More often than not. Uh, it, it's expedient. I mean, the first time I got into a fight in high school, somebody randomly spit on me. Like, what was I supposed to do? You don't learn shit. Randomly spit on you? She randomly spit on, on me. Purpose? She thought that I was just, it was this one girl else. that went to my school who literally, if I pulled up my yearbook right now, she looked just like me. And she walked into the gym. She said, do you know, what was his name? Mike? She was like, do you know Mike? I said, yes, here comes a spit ball in my face. <laughs> And I'm sitting there like, so And I asked, I asked two of my friends, I said, did this just happen? She said, yeah. Okay. Right time. This is what the scripture says. Right Here's the scripture. Well, I'm supposed to. Let me, let me use this. Yeah, okay, let me go to the garden of Gethsemane. My shirt is white. My shirt is white. I don't know what made her, in the garden of Gethsemane. What's I supposed to do? her. Here it is. Uh, those who live by the sword die by the sword. You got it. Hmm? Those who live this by the sword what, die by the sword. This is what, let me go to Matthew. Uh, this is what he said. If that's how you live, that's how you're going to die. If you live by violence, you're going to die more than likely by violence. Makes sense. Oh, then it make sense? Yeah. And it's definitely what you and see on the news really. every day. That's that. definitely what you I see. That'd be cool. Wow. Um, yeah, his, I, I believe that. Peter pulls out his sword. That looks like he's pulling out his sword for a good thing. Oh. Was it Peter's sword? Or what, uh, I mean, uh, it wasn't Peter. Yeah, Peter, Peter. It was Peter. Peter pulls it out. Peter and Paul all the time. Peter, anyway. Peter pulls was it, it out. It was his own sword? You just like, kind of like it? Shing! <laughs> he cuts the man's ear off. I always thought he took the other guy's sword. Guys thought it was more gangster. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus looks all over at him and says, Peter! In the middle of him getting arrested. Peter, put your sword up. Put it back in the sheet. Put it up. Because if you live by violence, you're going to die by violence. I just didn't imagine that. Not. I didn't imagine any disciples carrying a sword. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of violent. I mean, they, you know, I don't know if he used it to, he was going to use it to fight, but they had to no, have tools to what cut the names to the answer They were fishermen to cut nets. They had their own, they had their own little hardware. Mm -hmm. But he said, put it up. So violence is not the way. To but no, I seriously want to know, what was the biblical answer to someone spitting in my face? Like, what was I Turn the other cheek. So she could spit on that one too? <laughs> Thank you. That's a very hard one. Like if somebody would have legit say, "Do you know Mike?" You say yes, and literally, right here. That's the Lord. I'm sorry. She said that. She said that. God, please turn the blind eye. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not saved. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm saved. And I would like to be able to say that I could walk away, but you don't know what you're going to do to you. I'm going to be honest. I don't want Thank to you. hit nobody. I don't want to hit nobody. It's not my aim to hit anybody. I don't want to hit nobody. I was saying that. I was having a good day. I was having a good day. I talked about that on a youth Sunday once. Yeah, I walked like <laughs> I that. I walked like that. You know, I don't want to wake up. We went where we came. Somebody would come. You know, I don't want to walk like that. And I would like to say, because I'm going to be honest, this is what this class is about. I would like to say that I would do the mature thing and walk away. But you don't know until you're in that situation. And this is the thing that goes both ways. Because sometimes when you think you're going to go off with somebody, sometimes God will have you standing right there and he'll freeze you up. And when you would have thought you would have jumped on somebody and ripped their weave out, mm -mm. <laughs> snatched them back. I sure did. This is that got you I sure did. Like, Every I ounce of her money. Every ounce. <laughs> Every lure. I got one last year. By the time I finish breaking that thing, Cause I'm gonna hit you straight in the throat. You yeah. every lure ever saw that. You don't know. It was winter time. It was winter time. I had on my Tim's. It was winter time. God, God has a wife. She yeah. caught it. I'm a witness. Ooh, Ooh, watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Sometimes you gotta get smashed. You just say that. I was gonna say it. I know I'm saying. I'm saying for real. But I would, and I would like to say what I would like to do. Do you hear me? I'm just being yeah. honest. I would like to say, but I don't know what kind of, somebody would do that and then they'll hear me talking because they try to have somebody spit on me this week. Nope. But, <laughs> no, <laughs> Let that happen to me. I already know what I'm doing. I'm just right now. I'm going to get fired. I would, I would <laughs> like to do? say that I would walk away. Leave but because I am at, because, I am at, because I of my health Sunday. background, Sunday. 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 because Sunday. of my health background, and because I know what floats around in spit. In spit. And because I know what that's about. I got a weak immune system. 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 Red alert. Like so, on the face. That's what like, I'm If I had, if I had, I was facing her like I'm, I was literally like this and like how I'm facing you. If I hadn't done this, it would have been all up in my mouth. But tripping right here is coming down the point. 
your mouth? Just one second. <laughs> like, I'm gonna tell you what I would have done. I would have got yet. Oh my gosh. Have y'all seen the cover? Yeah. When she turned her head this way and get the arc. The bum bum. The bum bum. Walking down the street and a bum. Yeah, a bum. The bum flick your lips. I know. The bum bum. The what? The bum bum. He was like, the bum gonna act like he gotta tell you a secret and be like, come here and flick your lip. <laughs> he gonna get a bum bum. Oh. <laughs> like, how do you react? Like, he was like, what did that to you? No, no, no. It's, 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 it's like, hard. I used to wonder that, like, what was what was the biblical so way to handle something? I want the flowers. That tried me. Like, like, ew. I need a white. Like, <laughs> hey, it's all going here. But I just want y'all, I'm just looking at here. They tried I want you to know, things happen. But you'll be surprised what you're doing. You don't know till you get in there. No, I you don't know. I think they so. But let me tell you this, and I'm gonna tell you this because I love y'all so much. Let me tell you this: never say what you gonna do or what you won't do, because you'd be surprised. God said, "Oh, really? That means I need to work on you in that area." So let me go ahead and test you. Go ahead and test you because you have, He's gonna show you if you belong to Him. He's gonna show you. Cause let me tell you something: Christ was spit on. Numerous. And I don't know how he did. I don't know. I don't know how he did.